Welcome to my world, aka the internet. My name is Kibar 4.0. This is not my usual setup, but we're gonna get the video done. Today's video is advice for your t for 20 somethings. Yeah, for 20 somethings. Viewer discretion is advised. I never said it was good advice. I never said the advice was law. I never said the advice is gonna make it any easier. Number one, don't think that you have it all figured out. You're at the point where you're expected to have it all figured out, but. <laughs> That's a lifelong journey. As you're a young teenager, you stage of fitting in, that happens. But like when you're in your 20s, that still happens and it hits you like 10 times over. And then you deal with your own mental stress. Then you're trying to figure out where your life is going. Then you have to determine where even do you want to go to understand where your life is going. You're just like, it's like being in a car with no directions, but also not knowing how to drive. <laughs> wow, that sounds so relatable. Don't think that you will have it all figured out. If you do, a. You know, but if you don't, like, that's cool. Relationships. They don't last long and they are not forever. Whether that's friendship, rather that's boyfriend, girlfriend, they don't last long. They do not. And sometimes you just gotta learn to appreciate the moment that you did have and then just discard anything out. There was that moment where you and this other person, y'all were cool, y'all vibe, y'all were. You know, but then people change. Sometimes it's no one's fault, but then sometimes it's just like 50-50 responsibility. So, I don't know, I just get into the place of accepting that not everything lasts forever. It took me a while to accept that and still accept it, because it's like, oh, well, not everything lasts forever, then what's the point of even engaging and connecting with people? Uh, if you do that, you're gonna miss out on a really lot of great people, like a lot of great people you're gonna miss out on, and you're gonna miss out on a lot of awesome experiences because you're like, well, because this, this happened in the past. Like, we in the past, we in time traveling. You just gotta like, um, be in the now. But we're also on the conversation of relationships. Let's segue into rejection because not everyone's gonna wanna be your friend. Not everyone's gonna be interested in you. And like, that's okay, you know? How do you deal with that? You cry in a corner is what you do. In the arms of the no, <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't equate your value to how people feel about you, is what I'm trying to say. Like, people will have their opinions. Their opinions aren't your reality. So, like, if someone doesn't like you, you just be like, okay, they're lost. They miss out on a really good time with a really awesome individual. Get used to being along. <laughs> like, get comfortable with it and just really get just to know yourself. Because it took me losing myself to know myself. Like, that's, like, for real. Like, it took me, like, hitting, like, bam. Like, being like, I don't know who I am and I don't know like what I want to do, and I don't know what I like. It took it took me being that point to just like start doing a lot of self analysis, which is something that I would recommend is taking like a personality test, which really helped me because I was just like, I was on Google 24 seven, just being like, why this and why that, and because like I had questions and I did not have the answers to them, and sometimes you don't have people that you are comfortable with talking with or you don't have like someone around to talk to you like you don't have that mentor or that person to go to so just like you just try and do it on your on your own that's what this video is for self-awareness is important it's important to know why you feel how you feel and why you think how you think like really express yourself and like whatever means possible and like in every means actually acquire some experiences the more people you interact with you're gonna learn some things you're gonna learn some things of what not to do. You're gonna learn some things of what to do. Not all experiences will be good experiences, but you can take something from every experience. I kid you not. And if you're taking something from every experience you get, you're doing you're doing great. Trust me. That's all that I personally have to offer. What I did was uh, go to the internet and I asked a few people in their 20s or over, what advice do you have for 20 something? So we're gonna get into that and I'm gonna just read you guys off what they have said. Jazzy Pose says, it's okay to quit that job and that relationship, move away and or start over. Life is too short, but more importantly, it's too beautiful to spend and unhappy. I totally agree with that. Nanji Alexander, it's okay to cut off toxic people. Exactly. Even if they're a family, protect your peace at all times. It will benefit you in the future. You don't have to have life figure out by 30. God willingly, you will be living at at least 50 years beyond that. Take the time to heal generational trauma and poor mindsets. Read books, read articles, and listen to podcasts to expand your knowledge. Uh, start today and show up as the person you want to be in the future, but accept change and give yourself grace to make mistakes and learn from them. Also, 
learn money, savings, credit, and investing. I would advise young people to never be afraid to pursue their dreams and don't be afraid of failure. If what you're doing isn't working out like you planned at the start, keep trying. Great advice. Save your coins and learn about credit immediately. Immediately capitalize. Any last advice that I will offer you is just to remember this one thing. Like, if you take nothing else from this video, take this. You will be okay. You're gonna have a lot of low moments, a lot of low moments, but you're gonna have like a lot of good moments too. Uh, your 20s, they're not like your life defining moment. They're time for you to learn. It's basically training ground. You know, you're coming from young teenagehood, adolescence to like this point. This point isn't your defining moment, but it's where you're going to build a lot of character. Uh, enjoy it, you know. Don't be afraid. I mean, it's okay to be scared, but don't be afraid. Like, there's really nothing to fear, but just like you're coming into like a lot of knowledge than at least I had. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, you're gonna do good. It's gonna, yeah, just just know that it'll be okay. Like, regardless, like, through anything, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna have those moments where it's gonna be like, oh my god, what am I doing? I can't do this. But trust me, you can. Like, you have made it through a lot, and you'll make it through that as well. Until next time, my name is Kibar 4.0. Don't forget to be the best version of you and live life 4.0.